A step forward today in the fight to level the playing field between public and private schools when it comes to sports. Now, public schools say that private schools have the advantage because they can pull students from any district. Rich Walsh is here now with more on the effort. Rich. Well, guys, thanks to complaints started by coaches here in the Whippeal, there could finally be a change coming in high school athletics. A hearing in Harrisburg today is the first step to that change. Should public and private schools compete together or should there be separate championships, especially when it comes to football and basketball? Most public schools claim the current system is unfair because private and Catholic schools can recruit, and they can't. At the hearing today, both the state and House and Senate committee that oversees the PIAA, the group's executive director, revealed that instead of changing the format for championships, they're considering changing the whole classification formula from the ground up. Schools have been put in competition classifications based on enrollment only. We are currently considering, and the board has passed on a first reading, a competition classification formula that addresses the success of teams and teams that receive transfers. This appears to be the crux of the complaints from the membership. I feel you have come up with a good plan, and I'd love to hear the feedback um, from the superintendents and athletic directors. There's no question that the concern and criticism has intensified recently. The concern is that the private schools have an advantage, an advantage over the public schools. Well, not only would the classification formula change rate to how successful a school is and how many transfers they have, the PIAA is also considering creating yet another classification, a 7A classification for the huge powerhouse basketball and football schools. This is all still has to pass the full PIAA board, and even if it does, it wouldn't happen until at least 2021. The lawmakers who were at today's hearing sound alike. They're in support of the idea and think it could go a long way to making things more fair. Here's a good stat. Private schools have won nearly 70% of boys and girls state titles over the last three years. And just to give you an example, locally, the Central Catholic football team has won the Whippeal Championship three of the last five years. For KDK-TV News, I'm Rich Walsh.